Hi. For this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to use the National Audubon Society's Map of Important Bird Areas. Now, important bird areas, also known as IBAs, are recognized as important habitat for the conservation of bird populations. And generally, they're recognized worldwide, but because this is a National Audubon Society map, we're just going to be focusing on the United States. So we're going to start with a blank map, and the first thing we can do is look at the different layers that we can add to this map. So first and foremost, we want to look at the important bird areas in the United States. So we can add this layer and have a look at the general distribution of IBAs in the United States. And we can also add a layer for the Audubon chapters in each particular state. And if we keep scrolling down, we can add another layer for protected lands. We can also look at the land cover, and if we go to show more, we can get kind of the full spectrum of land covers we'll be looking at. And let's go ahead and add that layer too. And we can even add congressional districts and county lines. So this is our map with all the layers added, but we can use any combination that we want. And now for an example, let's say that we wanted to find more details about an IBA in the state of Oregon. Why don't we start by just clearing the map again. And we can use actually the quick zoom to state option. And let's for example, we'll say we had a particular IBA in mind, and I'm going to choose Fern Ridge. So we got the Fern Ridge Reservoir Wildlife Area. And we can once again add the IBA layer. And so we can see Fern Ridge. We can see what kind of protected lands are in the area. So these look like federal lands. Once again, we can add the land cover. Of course, that makes the map look a little too busy, so let's take that one away. And the other thing we can do is also change the base map, which is actually on the upper right here. Right now we're looking at a street map. We can also look at an aerial view. Or we can look at a hybrid, which is a combination of the two. And if we wanted more information on Fern Ridge in particular, all we have to do is click on the IBA. And here we get a basic overview, the landowner percentages, and the land cover and habitat. And if you just hover over any particular part of the pie chart, it will tell you what you're looking at. And a few more options down here. We can learn more about this IBA. We can look at sightings, which will take you over to uh, the eBird page for Fern Ridge. And you can also take a look at more data citations. And that is a basic overview of the National Audubon Society's map of important bird areas.